Hi, welcome to The Game Splainer. I'm Jeff The Game Splainer, and today I'm Game Splaining Aztec. So this is the game of Aztec. It is set up as a three-player game. In fact, this game does not play with two players. The idea of the game is to have the most jewels, or at least the most points off the jewels that you have, at the end of the game. So if you look at this board, everyone has two points at the end of the game for every group of the three different colored jewels. Everyone's thing down the bottom corner is slightly different. So this player will get one point for every pair of red and yellow. So it's worthwhile going after red and yellow for this player. This player is going after yellow and blue, and this player is going after blue and blue. The way the game plays is everyone has a look at their card. The top one, you have five cards to start with. That's going to say there are only five rounds in the game. And so once all those cards are played, game is over. So there's a possible six gems on each card. This card is showing only three. So there's another three that are kind of closed up. Each card will only show two different color gems. It won't show all three colors. So just bear that in mind. Now what you're doing, once you've looked at that, you're placing that face down and then you're putting some gems on top of it. If I put the two yellow and the, and the red, which is what was shown on the card, I am telling the truth. But I could do that. I am lying. So there are two options that you have. Once everyone has selected to put gems on top of their cards, you then have this token. And what you're doing is you're putting this in front of someone on one side or the other, which means, let's say that's what it looks like, this player might assume that this one is lying. This player might assume that this one is telling the truth. This one might assume that this player is telling the truth. Once everyone has placed their marker, then go in order from the first player. So let's just say that this player is the first player. What they do is they take the tokens off, flip the card over. Now this player was lying because they've got two extra reds in there. No one's called them out as lying. If this had been that way down, then he would have been called out of, as lying. So going with the way it is, he then adds them to his stash. Then each player that believed you, which is this player, would take one cursed gem from the supply. And they take that back. If this player had accused this player of lying, these jewels would be discarded. This player then does collect the jewels on the card. So just be aware of that. They've been told they're a liar. They still get the jewels on the card. Each player who accused you of lying then gives you one of their stones. So this person is getting a benefit. This person is getting a negative. If at least two players had accused this player of lying, so let's say, for example, a thing like that, this player would have also given that player one of their gems. But each of these players then gets to draw from the artifact deck. So this player might draw that one. So what this is now saying is that she is trying to get as many red gems as possible because if she's got the most at the end of the game, she'll get another five points. This isn't the card she has to keep though because you actually draw three and choose one of them. It's actually more worthwhile going for that because she's got that marker. So she might keep that one, and that's just a face down card. The other two go back on the bottom of that pile. This player then does exactly the same thing. This symbol down the bottom corner is a straight away thing, so you don't get to keep this one. You would need to actually use it, and that's remove three tokens. He's only got one, so it's actually no point in keeping that card at the moment. Later in the game, possibly. This one's gonna get an extra point for every pair, which speaks into what he's trying to do. So it's actually probably worth his while to hang on to that. And then they go on. Okay. Then that token is, is replaced to the person who, who had it. This person has no one accusing him of lying. So it doesn't matter if he's lying or not, he gets to hang on to the gems. This player has one person saying that she's telling the truth and one person saying that she's lying. Yes, she was lying, you discard the jewels and gain what is on the card. So same as this one. 
So it's just two red. The person who accused you of lying, which was this person, will give you one thing. Because there's only one person accused of lying or accusing of lying, none of those cards get touched. Each player who believed you, which is him, will take one of the cursed stones in. And that's from that pile. Now let's just imagine that she told the truth. If you told the truth, you add the jewels to your stash. You then give one of your cursed stones to each player who accused you of lying. So this player accused her of lying that time. If at least two people accused you of lying. So if that happened to be what it looked like, not that that's possible, but let's just say, you would gain the artifact cards. Each player who believed you, which was this player, would then discard one of their cursed stones. If you are supposed to give someone a cursed stone and you don't have any on your board, they just take it from the supply. Once that has happened, we then look at how many of each color each person has. So, this player has two yellow, this player has two yellow. That's all the yellow that happens. And we're talking about these curses at the moment. Which means that no one takes that cursed stone. Blue, this player is the only person who has blue, so he actually takes that one cursed stone. This player only has one red, this player has two red, which means this player takes that cursed stone. We're there at the end of the round, so everyone takes their token back. We add one cursed stone to each of those three different colours again. This player then becomes first player, so next player to the left, and we go again. The game continues until you have played five rounds, at which point you're adding up points for this. So if this happened to have that, this player would get two points. Points for this, this player would get one extra point. So this player's got three points so far. And any points that are on the cards that would gain onto that as well. And that is the end of the game. That is all there is to it. Please go and watch my game's play to get a feel for how the game actually plays. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.